Hello and welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today we're going to be talking about that Mikey Garcia and Earl Spence fight and why people shouldn't look over and oh, over Mikey Garcia and think that Earl Spence is just going to win this. But let's blaze up first with a message from our sponsors. No, just a, <laughs> this is sponsored by Wade. All right. So... I want everybody out there to not act like Deontay Wilder ain't stronger or a harder puncher than Tyson Fury. And we've seen what happened that fight. I'm not comparing Errol Spence to Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder, he's a person that'll look for one punch. Errol Spence is a person that'll break you down. And I mean, keep coming in for the kill. And the good thing about this fight is I was looking at the face-off, and both of these guys had the confidence and the beliefs that they are the best, which does set for a great fight. Number two, both of them are dogs, because you know how in some fights somebody going to get hit by a big punch, and then they curl their tail, and then they run and duck and hide. No, nah, I think these two people got so much pride to where somebody's going to go down. And the way I say somebody's going to go down is because... Earl Spence, we already know what he does, but you heard what he said. He said he got dog in him. So when Mikey Garcia, let's say Mikey Garcia takes him to school like Tyson Fury took Deontay Wilder to school. Earl Spence is saying, you're going to have to get me the fuck up out of here. Just like an AB, Adrian Broder. That's that's the number one thing about Adrian Broder could go anywhere with me because that nigga go fight to the death. And anybody like that, that's who you want to ride, go out with you, and you, you know, go party with and all that shit. Because guess what? If anything happens, you know one thing. Y'all going to look good coming. <laughs> and if y'all get in a motherfucking fight, a nigga ain't going to run and leave you. So that's a win-win situation. Y'all can come there with all the money and you motherfuckers can leave like, damn, boy, they some warriors. They fighting. But back to the thing at hand. Mikey Garcia is like a a Mayweather. Let's not act like Mikey Garcia ain't like Mayweather and that he could technically take Earl Spence to school. The only thing is that when Earl Spence sparred Mayweather, which was sparring, was not a bo- a real boxing match because people going to be more defensive in a boxing match. But when he did, he gave Mayweather some superb work. So Will and and Mayweather kicked him out the gym and then he brought him back. So in the fight, if this happens, Mikey Garcia can't kick him out the gym and then bring him back to the fight. I mean, he can't kick him out the ring and bring him back to the fight. So therefore, that's the part that I'm worried about on Mikey Garcia's behalf because a skilled fighter, you can put him in that motherfucker. I don't care. Well, I mean... Weight will eventually take over because, you know, like in those Chinese movies, people be hitting super, super big motherfuckers, got nothing happening. Yeah, now a situation like that. But, you know, the weight classes that he stepped up, like, man, I done seen motherfucking little people knock out big people. And shit ain't so surprising to me no more. Like a nigga that don't think they could lose, like Earl Spence, Mikey Garcia might surprise him. Because he's a technical fighter. So that means when you punch perfectly, your punch has a little bit more pop than a motherfucker's strong punch. Just a little bit more. Like, it could have the same effect. Like, that could balance out the strengths. Because you're getting hit flushed, perfect, but you just hit hard. That'll balance everything out. But I see, and I think, that this could be a draw. This could be... This could this this could be just the beginning chapter of Earl Spence versus Garcia, and the reason why I say that is because this ain't gonna be no boring fight. It ain't gonna be no boring fight, and that's gonna surprise a lot of people and gonna make the fight better because a lot of people actually think Earl Spence is gonna wait bully Mikey Garcia, but they have not seen a technical fighter like Mikey Garcia said. I'm a little bit better in footwork. I'm a little bit better. I'm a little bit better in everything, which he did not lie. Mikey Garcia is a little bit better in everything. The only difference with Earl Spence, the good thing Earl Spence got going for him is 
that he's he got that die hard, but that die hard in a fight where you got nothing coming, that definitely kill you. Now in a fight that you know you got to swing to win, and you know some people don't swing at all, and that's why they lose. Earl Spence ain't like the kind of person that'll do that. To where he's gonna go out on his back, or he's gonna come up with his arm out. I mean, or he's gonna come out with his arm up. So y'all let me know what y'all think and who y'all going for in the fight. Me myself, I'm thinking it's gonna be a draw. I'm thinking it's gonna be a draw because you can't always count on your strength. Mikey Garcia is a. This is more like a tune-up fight for a Terrence Crawford for Errol Spence to me. Cause Mikey Garcia. I don't know. They might have the same kind of pop. The diff the only difference is I don't know the difference between Mikey Garcia and Terrence Crawford. That'll be a good ass fight. All three any one of them three going against each other will be a good ass fight. Mikey Garcia, Earl Spence, or Mikey Gar I mean Earl Spence, Mikey Garcia or Terrence Crawford. Either one of them would be a good fight. But Mikey Garcia is more like a tune up. That's what he's thinking for Terrence Crawford, but factually, they almost it's almost like the same fight. It's almost like the same fight. It's just different style fighter, but they definitely the same level. And if Earl Spence does this, I do believe that he will do this to Terrence Crawford. Now, if Mikey Garcia gives him super-duper problems to where he's just winning the whole fight, then I'm going to have to go with Bud Crawford. Because if you just get a lucky knockout, Terrence Crawford's reach is a little bit longer, and he moves a little bit more. He, I think he moves a little bit better than Mikey Garcia. Just a tad bit or about the same. Just a hair. Like a hair a little bit more better. But he's faster. He's That's what it is. Terrence Crawford is faster than Mikey Garcia. They the same. Everything else, he's faster. So, and then Mexican, well, man, Mexican fighters ain't going down easy. Period, point blank. Like, nigga, talk about fighting to the death. Them motherfuckers be in there fighting to the death for real. Like, nigga, this ain't professional. This is street. Like, backyard, nigga. Like, get it in, ding, ding. No time clock, no nothing. Just fight to the death. <laughs> that's how they are. That's how they train. But that's going to be the show for today. So let me know who you going for in the fight. And make sure you go over to hwlradio.com, download the radio station app. Make sure you check out the sponsors page. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for your chance if you're in Indianapolis to win them Cardi B tickets, man. I know you won't go see Cardi B. She'll be here July 30th. Tickets is almost sold out. And I got motherfucking tickets. I got tickets for sale. 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 I mean, well, they ain't for sale. They were to give away, but you know, the drip for sale. And I'm out. <laughs>